Hey guys, welcome back to my channel or to my channel if you're new here. My channel has slowly turned into a dog channel, but I don't mind because I absolutely love making these videos for you guys and sharing my tips and tricks and I'm really glad that they've been helpful for you. I also enjoy making vlogs and challenge videos, so if any of that sounds good to you, be sure to subscribe. I post a new video every single Wednesday. Before I could even thank you guys for 400 subscribers, we hit 550, so that is totally insane. Thank you guys so much for all the support and love. It really means a lot to me. You guys are so sweet and kind. Um, some of you have messaged me on Instagram, and that is so awesome. I love talking to you guys. Um, and I just love the little community we've built in the comment section as well. But for today's video, I am going to be sharing my tips and tricks for the very first night with your new puppy. <laughs> If you haven't checked out last week's video, I gave some advice for what you can do on the very first day that you get your new puppy and tips for the car ride. So you can check out that video right after this one or before. I'll have it linked down in the description below. But today is going to be part two, the first night. So let's just jump right into this video. Also, sorry if I get progressively shinier throughout this video. It is so hot. Why am I wearing long sleeves? I don't know. So the first thing that I recommend you doing before nighttime even comes is getting your puppy acquainted with their crate. This is going to save you so much trouble if you don't leave it to the moment before they're supposed to go asleep in it. If you make all these positive associations throughout the day, multiple times a day, it'll make this whole process a lot smoother. I've got a whole video on crate training coming to you guys soon if you guys are interested. So be sure to watch out for that one, but definitely, definitely make positive associations with the crate throughout the day. It's gonna make your night run a lot smoother. Miss Nova just woke up from a nap, so she is super, like this right now so if they are still napping two hours before their bedtime try your absolute best to wake them up and keep them busy i know it may be difficult they're cute little growing puppies they look adorable you don't want to wake them up but try your best this is really going to play a role in helping them sleep throughout the whole night but even then be prepared for yourself to lose some sleep, especially during the first week. I got super lucky and Nova really only had issues issues sleeping throughout the night the very first night, but I got her to settle down within 10 minutes. Um, so I'll share my tri my tips for that later on. But this girl <laughs> still wakes up every single day at 5.30 in the morning like it's clockwork. So even if you get a full night's sleep during the night, be prepared to wake up early. Right, Miss Nova? Some really awesome ways to tire out your puppy is by playing with them, doing a little bit of training. You could do some nose work. Um, things like that. Anything that will stimulate their brain and get them physically tired as well. My personal favorite way to play with Nova and I think her favorite way as well is by playing fetch and I would love to do a separate video just on that if you guys are interested. Um, but yeah, if they don't take to training right away on the first day, that's totally normal. Just do anything you can to keep them awake. So I am in my bedroom and on the floor and I'm going to show you how I set up Nova's crate and how I recommend you setting up your puppies. It's pretty simple, but for those of you who don't know, maybe this may be helpful for you. But here we go. So as you can see, Nova's crate is right next to my bed. So I highly recommend you putting your crate right next to your bed so your puppy can see you. This will really help in reducing their stress and you'll be nearby to hear them if they start crying or anything like that. So yes, I have it right here and I do have a little bed inside of it. This is the puff that I got from Ikea. Um, normally she has a different bed in here, but that one is currently in the wash. So she's been sleeping on this one the last couple of nights. 
I also used to put her blanket. This is the blanket that smells like her litter mates in there with her. This is totally key to helping them during the night as well. So if you have one of these from whoever you got your dog from, be sure to put it in their crate. Um, but now she doesn't really need this now that she's more used to my scent. So actually I have an old t-shirt in here. Um, it's not old. By old I mean I've worn it a couple times so it smells like me. And this may sound kind of gross but the sweatier and stinkier the better. Um, but I highly, I, this is a game changer you guys. Especially when I leave her alone in her playpen. I put this in there with her and she instantly soothes and calms down. So now I keep this in her crate with her to help her during the night and we have no issues. So I highly recommend doing that. Um, starting out with this blanket that smells like their litter mates if you have it and eventually as they get more used to you, um, a t-shirt that smells like you. In here I also have a little chew toy for her. These are just the Nylabone um, key rings. Um, it's just to keep her busy, keeping it a positive association. Um, and she does like to bite on things currently, so I just left this in there for her to chew on. Um, but you don't have to go overboard with the toys or anything like that. This blanket also plays a huge role in how well she sleeps during the night. I find that this blanket just creates a super tight and safe feeling place for her, a really cozy, safe place for her. Especially now that it's getting hotter, I was a little worried that it might be a little suffocating for her. So I did take it off one night and she would not go to sleep until I put it back on. So I highly recommend you doing something like this. Um, and actually the first night that we had a little bit of trouble with Nova getting to sleep, um, all I had to do was wrap her up in a blanket herself. If you watched my bringing Nova home video, you would have seen this blanket. This is the blanket that she had on the car ride home. Basically all I did was on, she had this blanket on top of her crate. She was having a little trouble sleeping. So I just laid this right on top of her and she went right to sleep. Again, first night can be a little stressful for your puppy, but making sure they feel safe and secure, they like being really cozy and kind of tucked in, at least Nova did anyway. Um, this is another awesome trick. Um, I did do this for her a couple days in a row, but eventually she just settled in and I found that she didn't really sleep with this anymore, so I just took it out. As for choosing a crate size, I definitely recommend not getting one that is too big for your puppy. Um, obviously, Nova's growing, so this one I actually didn't even pick out myself. It was actually my uncle's, but this seems like a pretty good size for her. Um, the reason why you shouldn't get a crate that is too, too big is because some puppies will actually separate and create kind of like a, a suite <laughs> where they'll sleep on one side and they'll go potty on the other because dogs know not to potty where they sleep but if you get a crate that is a little too big um they might do that for nova i have no issues with this one um this bed and the bed she normally has in here um fills quite a bit of space so i don't find that she goes potty but actually she doesn't have issues with that she knows not to go potty in here and she'll like cry and whine to come out and like pee here instead so yeah right nova <laughs> um but yes even as an adult dog this is going to be a really great size for her so at this time i also recommend you cut off their water intake for the night um i had a couple people ask in the comments whether they should leave a water bowl in their crate with their puppy, a food bowl, things like that. And personally, I don't. I find that whenever Nova wakes up during the night, it's not 
seeking water or food it's more that she has to go potty or she wants to play um, but you can use your discretion as a puppy parent and do what you think is best but personally for me I don't leave water in the crate with her that is different from making it a positive association for that I do recommend you feeding your puppy their meals in their crate but more so to keep them inside of it and making it a positive event rather than leaving it in there overnight for whenever they want to eat it and drink. But I just think that if you leave the water bowl in their crate, um, they may drink it, they may not, but if they do drink it just because it's there, um, this can make them have to pee more, they might feel more discomfort during the night, and potentially even have an accident in their crate. So for me, I don't, but you as a puppy parent can make that choice for yourself. Speaking of going potty during the night, I highly recommend you setting an alarm for every two hours during the night to go and take your puppy potty. This is really going to help in your potty training journey and preventing accidents. Especially during the first week of Nova being home, I really made sure that I did this. Even if she was asleep, I would pick her up and take her out of her crate and bring her to her potty area. And I would wait about five minutes for her to go. Most of the times she did go. And if she didn't, totally fine. I would just pick her back up and put her right back in the crate. And we would try again at the next two hour interval. One time I didn't wake up during the night because I was like so exhausted. I just slept through all my alarms and just like turned it off and went right back to sleep. Um, she woke up around 4 a.m. like crying and whining because she had to pee so bad. Um, so as soon as I opened the door to her crate, before I could even pick her up to take her, she jumped out and peed right there on the floor. So it really does help with preventing accidents and discomfort and your potty training journey. So definitely try this method if you can, um, if you have more people in your household that can help with this, maybe set up shifts so everyone can wake up maybe once during the night or twice during the night however many people that are available in your household that can help um but i highly recommend you doing this your puppy might wake up during the night and start crying and whining and this is totally normal you know there's a lot of factors going into this they're in a new environment with new people it was probably a pretty eventful and stressful day for them um they're not used to sleeping alone they used to sleep they're used to sleeping with their litter mates they're not used to sleeping in a crate there's so many different things um but it is normal. But every single time this happens, what I suggest you doing is take your puppy out of their crate, bring them to their potty area and wait for them to potty five minutes. If they don't go, pick them right back up, put them right back into their crate, close the door, turn off the lights and go back to sleep. I cannot stress this enough. But by doing this, you are teaching your puppy that, oh, every single time I cry, that is telling my human I have to go potty. As hard as it is to not cuddle them and play with them and bring them onto your bed, um, and you're thinking that you're giving them comfort, you are instilling in them that every time I cry, my human is going to give me attention. They're going to play with me and that is exactly what they want. But that is not what we want. Ultimately, I'm sure of it, you want them to sleep throughout the whole night. Um, we all have our own lives as well. We don't wanna be losing sleep. You don't wanna be up at 3 a.m. playing with your puppy. Um, just because they don't want to sleep anymore. So don't start on the first night. And your overnight experience is going to be a little bit different. Every puppy is different. You might get super lucky and have a puppy that sleeps throughout the entire first night, no issues. You might have a puppy who's a little more anxious, a little more needy, but trust me, it gets so much easier and so much better every single night. So just try your best, push through, stay strong and do not give in. This is really going to instill bad habits in them and even potentially 
play a role in separation anxiety later on if you just let them sleep on your bed just because they're crying. By being super consistent with making them sleep in their own crate, um, as hard as it is right now, it is going to get easier for them. You are instilling more confidence in them. You are preventing separation anxiety and teaching them how to self-soothe. So in the end, it is a lot more beneficial. It is going to be a little difficult, but you can do it. Don't give up, don't give in. And as soon as you wake up in the morning, be sure to pick up your puppy and bring them to their designated potty area right away. Chances are they're really going to need to go, so don't just open the door and let them jump out themselves. Carry them, let them go potty. Chances are they're really going to have to go after holding it in for a while. Um, but you did it! You survived the very first night. That is all I have for you guys today. Thank you so much for watching if you made it this far. I hope it was helpful for some of you. If it was, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. It really helps me out and lets me know. Um, also be sure to leave a comment down below what other videos you'd want to see from me, doggy related or not. I read every single one of your comments and that is the best way to communicate with me your video suggestions. You can follow Nova on Instagram, I'll have it linked down below. I post every single day on that account. Um, so that is also another great way to communicate with me or if you just want a daily dose of Nova. Also, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. I post a new video every single Wednesday. But thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye. See, bye bye. <laughs> She's still sleepy. Bye guys.